Remember some days ago when four people went to Mexico, two people came back home, but two people were killed? Well, it looks like it was the Mexican cartel that did it, and they're trying to right their wrongs. They basically wrote a letter saying this. Oh, my soul, bro. Talking about that and gave the killers to the U.S. to handle. That ain't even the real killers, man. This is the Mexican cartel we talking about. But oh, man, in other news, you know, I've been gone for like damn near a week, you know, but I, you know, I got my reasons, but... Like I said, in other news, but still pertaining to the Mexican cartel, artist Chameleon shares footage of her terrifying ordeal in Mexico. She alleges that she was extorted by the Mexican cartel police. Eh, gonna have to lay low on Mexico for a while. So it looks like your boy Bishop Lamar Whitehead faces new federal charges, allegedly fabricating bank records to fund his New Jersey mansion. That motherfucker big too. Good news and bad news for Ja Morant. What you want first? Good news? I gotcha. So it looks like Ja Morant won't face any charges following the Glendale Police Department investigation after he brandished a gun on IG Live. Bad news is Coca-Cola pulled Ja Morant's Powerade ass, man. God damn it. So I guess after the big red boots, this had to be next. This is exactly how y'all gonna look putting on them big ass Mario boots in the club off that X. Man, I think I remember this story, but it looks like a daycare owner who shot her husband after finding out that he allegedly molested her students opens up about the incident. I snapped. I'm not a violent person. Free her. ASAP. A man robs a Utah bank for one dollar and then asks the cops to send him to the feds. The feds? Over a dollar? This to tell the two nasty hoes. A school lunch lady is arrested after texting students want to see something and then spamming them with nudes. And a chair coach who was 45 allegedly had sex with her daughter's 16 year old boyfriend 300 times. And bruh funny as fuck for no reason man. But Boosie explains why he feel crack is healthier than fentanyl. Crackheads have been around for years. Have y'all heard him? I'm talking about killing the junkies who've been junkies for forever. Yes. Soon as they hit it they did. Right. Crackhead, this nigga shoot threes, this nigga shoot basketball, this nigga, this nigga run, run a hundred miles, this nigga get sane. This nigga fix your car motor. Been doing this for 20 years. This motherfucker still running around the neighborhood. When have you ever heard crackheads hitting the pipe and dying the first time? Never. Y'all getting what he's saying, all right? Crack. <laughs> I'm promoting it. Promoting. Yes, sir. Happy birthday and belated birthday to our dog C Murder. Free him. Dead Anthony, our guy Chingy, our dude Terrence Howard, our boy Paul Wall, and the beat master himself, our boy Timberland. Yes, sir. This same day yesterday, March 11, 97, our boy Scarface releases the classic album, The Untouchable. This same day yesterday, March 11, 03, our boy Killer Mike debuts with the classic album, Monster. This same day today, March 12, 93, CB4, the classic movie, was released in theater. I love that movie. And this one right here is a two-part one. Since I didn't do the news March 9th for Biggie on the anniversary of his passing, I'm going to do it now. This same time, March 9th, 1997, the late, great, notorious Big was murdered. And on this same day here, March 12th, 2018, the late, great Craig Mack passes away. May they both continue to rest in peace. Pictures of that boy Young Thug in jail surface online thanks to his sister. It looks like Slime is in good condition, trying to do the best he can in a bad situation. Man, this is horrible. I saw the video. Very horrible. But South African rapper Costa Titch has passed away after collapsing on stage at a musical festival, man. At 28 years old, man. Just never know when you're going to get called home. May he rest in peace. So it looks like a school bus attendant is arrested after allegedly whipping a student with a belt, leaving welt marks across his back. That's what the police say. Jalen Ramsey, that boy a dolphin now. A dad cuts off his 22 year old daughter's car payments after learning she's stripping in college. I just would have cut off of the sheer fact that hell, you can afford to pay your own shit now. Y'all learn one day, but it looks like dozens of students are hospitalized with anxiety after using the Ouija board. No, you stop it. And our boy Lil Dirk, man, he finally opens up about him and his relationship with India Royale, man. It's a lot to read, so I'm just gonna give y'all this little bit right here. He says, real love, not a paid situation. I just love her to death. She's fed up, but I'ma save us. Dirk and India have said that it has nothing to do with Dirk cheating. Dirk went on to say he just overtalked her, never listened. Hey man, that's just as bad as cheating, you dig? But y'all know how that boy Smurf feel about that girl, India, man. I kill my gun to India before I put it in your hand. 
Yes, sir, to nice weather. But I'm going to dedicate this one to the bottom of this me most girl. Y'all know who y'all is out there. Natchez, Mississippi. Y'all 59 degrees, but y'all cloudy. Gulfport, Mississippi. Y'all 71. Y'all cloudy. What's up, neighbors? In East St. Louis, Illinois, man. Y'all 44 degrees, but y'all big cloudy, big dog. But I'll say, family, this past Thursday, I went to the Future Concert, man. The one big party tour. I had a fucking time of my life. Smoke good, ate good, drank good. Shouts out to ESTG, Birdman, Mariah the Scientist. Des Dior, the future, everybody for showing up and showing out, man. That shit was lit as hell. Oh, yeah, shout out to Don Tolliver, too. His set was good, but just long as hell. But all for that, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, make sure to also follow me on YouTube and Instagram, at News with Zay. Help me run them numbers up, family. And if you want me to shout y'all on the weather report, it's stupid fucking crazy easy. Drop me in the comments. You know I'm going to take care of you. And until next time, I'm a holler, family.